The Institute of Race Relations says the proposed expropriation bill is a draconian measure. It says the bill must be stopped before it can be used to strip millions of people of homes and assets. The Institute also claims that as expropriated land will be held by the state, it can be used as a tool of patronage to deepen dependency on the governing party. Pe people have until the end of the month to comment on the bill. To discuss this further, we're joined by Anthea Jeffrey from the Institute. Anthea, you talk about a draconian measure. Tell us a little bit more about your findings. Well, in essence, I think there are four problems with the bill of a very major kind. And the first is that it doesn't deal only with land and particularly not just with farmland, as many people think. The bill defines property as not limited to land. So it could extend to any number of other assets from shares in the South African Reserve Bank to mining rights, pension rights, and so on. Secondly, it allows for no compensation on expropriation in certain circumstances, but it's entirely unclear as to what those circumstances are. Often the tests laid down are very vague, but beyond that, the list which is provided is expressly not a closed list. In other words, officials and municipalities will be able to decide that other circumstances should also merit no compensation. And though people might have a right to go to court to contest that, that will be difficult. Because the third problem with the bill is that the procedures it sets up are vastly skewed in favor of the state. So if a municipality wants to expropriate, say, land for a housing development, it has to go through some simple preliminary steps. And then it can expropriate simply by serving a document, a notice of expropriation on the owner. And under that notice, the right to ownership will automatically pass to the municipality irrespective of any dispute by operation of law on the date set in the notice which could be very soon it could be a day or a week or a fortnight later the only limit in the bill is that the ownership can't pass before the service of the notice of expropriation and, and the right to process. possess the property could likewise transfer very quickly from the municipality to, from the expropriated owner to the municipality, leaving the owner, if he or, he or she can afford it, to try to go to court after the event. And that's simply not constitutional. What are your findings when it comes to the possibility that the state's not going to give any of it away to anybody who really needs it? I mean, we know of the problems in this country. I mean, is this land going to possibly be just handed over to family, friends? And I, I think certainly it will remain within the ranks of, of Sina ANC cadres and perhaps their friends and relations. But what we need if we're to make a success of something like land reform, of course, is that beneficiaries should have title. This is, is what was recommended by the high-level panel of parliament in 2017. It said then that it's not land acquisition costs that are holding back land reform. One of the key problems is that beneficiaries don't get title. They get confined to leases and then they have no collateral with which to raise working capital from the banks. And when we transfer land to the state, its policy under the state land lease and disposal policy of 2013 is indeed not to transfer ownership, but to keep itself as the landlord. Uh, people who are trying to produce for the market will have to lease for 30 years and then another 20 before they might have a right to purchase. And in that entire period, the state will be able to terminate the lease for what they regard as a lack of production discipline. And people who have then invested some of their own money in the land will find that whatever improvements have been made get transferred to the state. And again, they may not be paid compensation for them. It's very unlikely that they would be. So you're setting up a situation where people are hugely dependent on the state, which will own or control more and more of the land. And people need, will need leases in order to be able to use it, but their use rights will always be insecure. All right, Anthea, we're obviously going to be talking more about this. I mean, everyone agrees that this needs to be speeded up, this process, but how best to do it? Anthea, Jeffrey, thank you very much for talking to us.